Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 8 and the first thing I want to do is show you that I crafted an iron pickaxe last night. That's right. I'm a complete idiot. Well, more so forgetful and that's because I forgot you can just craft an iron pickaxe. You don't have to find the schematic like you do with the steel pickaxe or any steel tools for that matter. You can just go ahead and craft one. So I leveled up last night. I put another point into minor 69er and that allowed us to craft a level four pickaxe. We are level 29 right now and uh, we're good to go. Another thing I found last night is this room right back here with all this fucking loot. There's a weapons bag. There's two uh, wall safes. There's a gun safe, a whole bunch of TVs we can take apart and a trash can that I haven't searched yet. Empty can, big surprise there. But anyway, let's loot all this stuff. That's why I saved it, so we can loot it on camera. That's nice right there. Let's pick this safe. I got about 18 lock picks on me, so that should be enough. Not bad. Hey, stun baton. I said I was going to use one if we found one, so let's go ahead and bring it down. Uh, we'll just replace our bandages. Uh, now, we got to see if we can make a repulsor mod for it. Because we found the schematic for that. Here it is. Five pieces of steel. Yeah, we got that. All right, we'll get one crafted in a little bit. Let's finish looting this room first. Some cash and some 9mm. That's good. Let's pop this one open. Oh, nipples. Great. Just what I needed. Now, those are... That's a mod for armor or whatever. Anyway, there's another room on this side of the steps, but it's just a bathroom. And I searched it already, so uh, nothing important in that room. But I can't believe I've missed that loot room. What are you going to do? Hey, at least we probably got better loot now than if we would have searched it on day one. So I'm not going to complain. I need those bandages, though. Okay, uh, let's craft this repulsor mod. Got plenty of steel. Um, what else do we need? Mechanical parts, duct tape, and electrical parts. Got that stuff as well. Let's get this thing crafted, and then we'll be on our way. There we go. I went ahead and repaired the stun baton. Let's get the modifier on it now. Bam! Okay. Let's get a move on. First thing I want to do is run across the street, as always, to the girls club and check the vending machine. And then we're going to head up north uh, right here. There is another wall safe, actually two wall safes at the house where the uh, skull crushers, I'm going to take that. Uh, the house right up here where we found the first workbench. There was two wall safes there that I marked on the map and I forgot about. Well, we still have plenty of lock picks left, so we're going to go crack into those safes and then we're going to go do this job for Trader Wrecked. We're also going to go see Jen today because her inventory restocked yesterday and we haven't seen her yet. Um, I think they're upstairs. I'm pretty sure they were both in the same bedroom. Yep. Oh, shit. Got some respawns here. There he goes. That's what the repulsor mod does. Not only does it electrocute them, it sends them flying back just like that. Knocks them off their feet. It's pretty effective. Doesn't do much damage, though, apparently. Come on, dude. Holy shit. Well, we all know bikers are tough as hell. Still, damn, that took a lot. That's why I don't usually use stun batons, but we're going to use one anyway. Fuck it. Damn. Two more left. One. Two. Son of a bitch. All right, at least we got a pickaxe. Totally worth it. Four stone arrows, what the hell? There better be something better in this one. Ooh, that's better. Some cash, a level three hunting knife. We can go ahead and scrap the level one. We'll repair the level three later. And let's throw this burning shaft mod on the fire axe for now. Okay. Let's get out of here. We'll go do that job for Trader Wrecked, and that is sort of on the way to Trader Jen's. Oh, wait a second. Um, let me take apart this radiator, and there was another radiator upstairs that I wanted to take apart. Grab both of these, then we'll go do the job for Trader Wrecked, then we'll go see Trader Jen, because like I said earlier, her, her uh, inventory restocked yesterday, and we never went to see her, so 
We'll check her inventory out. Maybe we'll do some looting in her town. And then we'll go get our reward from Wrecked. And at that point, it'll probably be time to call it a day. Get back home and continue working on the floor. Here we are. This is a Retrieve the Supplies quest. Let's check the mailbox. I always forget to do that. Four pieces of paper. Let's go ahead and activate the quest. Shock the shit out of thick here. Bam! Switch over to the bat. Look at that. That's probably a good strategy. Shock the shit out of him with the repulsor mod, send him flying, and then switch over to the bat and finish him off. There we go. Let's give him the shocker. Bam, right onto the chair. Oh, and finished him with a nut shot. Man, we are just brutalizing these zombies this morning. Here we go. Don't see any zombies down there. Oh, here's the courier satchel. Beautiful. Bam, job's done. But, as always, we're gonna finish looting first. Bathroom's clear. A little bit of murky water, and that looks like it for in here. That door's locked. We'll leave it locked. Let's push through the kitchen here. Any zombies? Oh, that leads down to the basement. Let's loot up here before we head down there. Does this door just go outside? I believe so. Yep. All right. Got a couple of brass faucets over here. Let's go ahead and grab those. I hear a zombie out here. Yep. Fuck off, lady. A lot of cobblestone down here. Oh shit, Spider Monkey and my blunderbusses are not loaded. Let's get up here and close this door. There we go. Yeah, it's like I knew they weren't loaded too, and I fucking went down there anyway without reloading them. Here we go. Bam, and bam. Get up there. Okay, looks like we're going through this door. We got a ladder. Nothing else in here. Back up into the attic. Oh, this is our little main stash room right here. Level 3 pickaxe. Of course. Of course we find a pickaxe on the morning of the day we craft a pickaxe. That's how it always works. Oh, level 4 wrench. I'll take it. Some food. Alright, let's bring down that level 4 wrench. Repair it. Eat this food. And let's get out of here. Skull crushers, I'll take those. And that's it. What up, Jen? Meds, drugs. I got a few things I can sell you here. Okay. And the wrench. Yeah, we can sell her the level three wrench. Uh, alright, let's see what she has. 
9 millimeter. Hold off on that for now. Just see what else she has. This is getting into the stuff I sold her. Oh, level 1 tactical assault rifle. Um, I mean, I know it's just a level 1, but it's only 800 coin, and that gives us a weapon that fires 7.62, so let's buy it. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay, and then I guess the only 7.62 she has is AP 7.62. So let's just buy the 9mm. Uh, 200 rounds, I guess. Leaves us with a little coin. Oh, I forgot to sell her this cash. There we go. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's do a job for Jen. Can we do a job for Jen while we still have... Like, we have a completed job. I mean, the completed job for, for Wrecked is still up in the top right corner. And that's where it wants to send us right now. Hold on, let me kill this dude. I've never tried to take a job while, like, basically we have a job that we did that we need to go get a reward for. But now I just took another job from Jen. I'm assuming I can go do this job for Jen and still collect my reward from Wrecked the next time we go see him. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I've never done this before, but I got to assume that there's not going to be any problems here. Looks like Jen has sent us to the girls club and man, looks like the road to get to the girls club is pretty fucked up. But you know what? I bet you that's not going to stop the customers from coming. Pun intended right there. Let me knock this uh, landmine out of here so we can check this vending machine. Come on. No, oh, fuck it. Oh, oh, shit drops. I'll take that. We can make use of that if we want to raid, let's say, the Shotgun Messiah HQ or the uh, Shamway Foods HQ. You know, if we want to pull our way up to the roof, grab the loot real quick, and then jump off. I find that's the best way to utilize that candy. Now, I just want to check something real quick. Yeah, okay, so the Tier 1 fetch for Trader Wrecked is still on our list, and it's marked as complete. Now, the top right corner is the current job we're doing, retrieve the supplies for Trader Jen. So once we do this job, we should be able to go get our reward from Jen and then go see Wrecked and get our reward from him as well. So I'm assuming you can just take on as many jobs as you want from as many different traders as you want. Hey lady, we're not hiring at the moment, so fuck off. No zombies in the guy's room. Murky water. Murky water and another pistol. Gunpowder. Let's pop this plug open. I'll probably go ahead and scrap that level 1 pistol because it doesn't sell for much, but it will give us pistol parts if we scrap them, which we can use to eventually craft like a desert vulture when we find the schematic for that thing. Okay, I know we got some zombies up here. Not a big deal. Usually hidden right in here. Come on out. Oh, just spotted a bird. Shit. There we go. Let's check these toilets. Murky water. Murky water. There's a plug right here. Let's pop it open. Trash. Nothing. Now, there's usually a couple of zombies in here. One and two. All right. Dick's dead. And this guy is just about there. Okay. Now, this plug... Oh, this is the plug to the bathroom. They always get me with that. I always wind up breaking that plug open twice. A little bit of brass, some feathers. Nails, which I will scrap, and lead. Ah, that plug we already got. Okay. Main stash. Oh, level 2 AK and a level 4 hunting rifle. That's beautiful and typical since we just bought a tactical assault rifle today, but what are you going to do, right? I can't tell the future. 
If I could, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I'd be on a yacht somewhere off the coast of Bermuda or some shit, you know? What's up, Jim? What do you got for me? Weighted head mod or 150, 44 magnum rounds? I'm gonna go with the magnum rounds. Um, do I have anything we can sell her? Well, like I said, I don't want to sell her that pistol. I'll sell her the uh, sledgehammer parts. Uh, and these armor parts. And I think that's it. All right, Jen. I'll see you later. Not going to take another job from her. Let's get over to Rex, get our reward from him, and probably call it a day at that point. Hi, Candy. I'll take that, and I'll take the Skull Crushers as well. Let's go see what this old man's got for us. What up, Wrecked? Wood Splitter mod or the Grave Digger mod? I'm gonna go Grave Digger mod because we're gonna be doing a lot of digging tonight. Um, oh, look at this. Uh, we're going... Um, I guess, well, the Helmet Light mod we can put into a helmet and increase the value, but the uh, handlebar schematic, we can sell right back to him right now. Um, let me... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Hold on. Let's put this mod on the shovel. There we go. Now grab this schematic. Sell it right back to him. Be and let's look at his jobs. Oh, special jobs. There we go. Bam. Opening trader routes. Oh shit, this is a new trader. Yes, look at that. Fucking A. That is sweet. We got three traders on the map now. I don't think we can make... Well, maybe. We could possibly make it to that third trader right now before they close, but... Not gonna worry about it. We've done enough driving around today. Let's just get home, get some work done to the prison floor, and then tomorrow... We'll, I'll go through all of our inventory tonight, see if there's anything we want to sell. Tomorrow we'll go to that third trader, open it up, uh, we'll get some XP and coin from doing that, and then of course we'll see who this third trader is and what their inventory looks like. Maybe take a job from them, we'll see. It all depends on how we're going to handle the horde tomorrow night. I'm gonna grab some stone real quick, because uh, we gotta make, we gotta keep the cobblestone flowing. You know, for, for this fucking floor we're putting in. And we're gonna need more stone in order to do that. Uh, but like I said, we'll, we'll see. I gotta put some thought into how we're gonna handle the horde tomorrow. If we're gonna try one more night to hold it down in the watchtower, or if I'm gonna try and get something built during the day tomorrow. Uh, I'm just not sure yet. That's something I gotta think about tonight. Okay, tonight we could use stone, sand, and clay soil, so let's start over here and just work our way across. That'll give us everything we need. We're getting stone and sand from the ground right here, and then the dark ground will give us clay soil. All right, we'll take a little break. I got to get all this loot that we picked up today organized, figure out what we might want to take to us to the trader tomorrow to sell, and then I'll get back out there and continue working on the floor until we pick things up here on the morning of day nine. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.